with a 41 and 3 record from Lexington Junior Calvin Campbell. From St. Paris Grand Loco with a 44 and 4 record, freshman Micah Jordan. And in the 119 pound weight class for Division 1 on that one, about 226. From Cincinnati LaSalle with a 45 and 4 record, junior Max Bird. Alright, there you heard it. Division 2, 119 pound finals on the left side of the screen in the white single. We've got Calvin Campbell from Lexington. He was second last year, 112, lost by a score of 73. His opponent from St. Paris Grandma, freshman, and on the leg quickly. Ooh, nice defense there, Bo, by Campbell. Micah Jordan from St. Paris Grandma, freshman. He's 44 and 4. And he gets launched to his back. Wow! Quickly here in the first pair, we got action. Calvin Campbell throws him to his back. Gets, I think, two near fall. Going to be 4-0 in the first 30 seconds. Two takedown, two near fall. And that got things going nicely here. Wasting no time. He's on top now. He's got that right leg in. He's going to try to go to work and score some more points. He's looking for a far side cradle. Not sure he's going to be able to get it. When they crawl out of bounds, we're going to come back to the center. A minute nine left here in the first period. A 4-0 score, 4-0 lead for Calvin Campbell. What's up, Zeb? I'm Mike. Jeff Jordan's middle son. This is Jeff. Say it. Mike Jordan is <laughs> Jeff Jordan's middle son. Uh, Bo is oldest, and Rocky is the baby. Maybe the best. And Time will tell. He's a freshman. This is his first state title appearance. And he got caught earlier. And this is Calvin Campbell. He's a state runner-up last year. We covered all Lexington. that, Zeb. You already did. You already it's, got me. It's on the sheet. Yeah, man. Does it say it's Jeff Jordan's uh, son, though? I didn't. So the good thing you're here. All right, man. The Zebinator, ladies and gentlemen. In the house. Knows Campbell everything. no Joe Bag of Donuts. No, he's up 4-0 in the state finals. Yes, he is. He took second last year. He lost 7-3. to You're the man. <laughs> You're the man. No, whoever wrote this sheet here is the man. And this is Micah, Mick, as they go. Is it called Mick? Mick. Okay, I'll call him Mick. Mick Jordan. Micah, the Micah Mick. And a one-point escape for Jordan. Just under 20 seconds to go in the first period. Makes the score 4-1. He needed that escape to get himself back into this match. And it looks like he's going to... Oh, I thought Campbell was going to look for another throw right away. Zeb, do you know is Campbell a big move kind of guy? Not really. He's just a, a tough, solid kid. He's good on top, usually. And uh, Hit that four-point throw. And yeah. It looked like he was going to try to lock up and jack yeah. him up right away. Campbell's choice defers. You're going to see neutral here. Mick Jordan. It sounds like a, a sandwich or a burger or something. History could be made over on the other mat as Tyler Heminger is in the state finals for a fourth time and has not won a title yet. And he's down. 3-0. And he just caught a headlock. He's winning. He's going to pin Goebel. And he'll get it. Yeah. We'll continue to remain on this mat. We got videos of that match if you want to watch that. Look to the left side of your screen. But as we say that, Jordan in on a single leg. Gets to the ankle. No, nice defense there by Campbell. Turns it into a barrel roll. Two takedown. Micah Jordan crawling his way back. It's now four to three. With a minute 20 to go here in the second period. The one escape makes a 5-3. Right back to that same dump. Another two. For Jordan, he ties it up, 5-5. Halfway point in the match, one minute to go here in the second period. Good action in front of us. Cuts him away, one point escape. 
40 seconds to go in the second period. A one-point lead now for Calvin Campbell of Lexington. Jordan right back to that single leg. Boom! Smooth. Smooth like sandpaper. 30 seconds to go and a 7-6 lead now for Micah Jordan, his first lead of the finals. Like Zeb said earlier, his first finals appearance. Sure, there are any backs? Oh, they do. Two more near fall for Jordan makes it nine to six. Big second period for Micah Jordan. He puts some points up on the board and has a three point lead and his choice. Calvin Campbell's got his work cut out for him. Zeb said he's pretty tough on top though. We got a cross wrist, turned into a near wrist, tries to throw a leg and loses it. Loses the position. One point is, no, nothing yet. Excuse me, I said that a little fast. Campbell out to a front headlock. He still maintains control and they go out of bounds. No change back to the center, a minute 39. left leg and now he's kind of slips that right one and it's shallow and there you go he gets him flat now nice job by Campbell controlling that cross wrist and again he likes that far side cradle you can tell he's going to come to that same side try to crunch it together Micah Jordan knows what's going on here he's holding on to that hand he's not going to let that cradle get locked up he could lock it up and bring it over and three near fall would tie it, but that's a tall order in the last 45 seconds of the state finals. Yeah, he was looking near side cradle there. We got 30 seconds to go. Mick Jordan. Three point lead. Fifteen seconds to go. Graham looking for their second straight champion. And I think that's gonna happen. It's gonna be. There it is. Micah Taylor. Excuse me, Micah Jordan. It was Ryan Taylor last match for Graham. Micah Jordan. Down by quite a few points. Comes back, wins the 119 pound title by a score of nine to six. He is your Ohio Division II 119 pound champion. Congratulations. Congratulations.